Videos like this really remind me of why I love my job. Hey everybody, this is Micah Gonzalez, that's M-I-C-A Gonzalez with a Z, and I'm back with a video this time about something that I absolutely love and adore, which is Trello. For those of you who know me, I'm a big fan of Trello, and if you haven't heard of what this app is, it's essentially a project management app which emphasizes the Kanban method, which is, if you don't know what that is, it's basically like organizing your to-dos or whatever it is into rows and columns. So imagine like those post-its uh, on the wall when people do stuff like brainstorming or managing their projects. It's kind of like that, but instead of using actual post-its and an actual wall, you actually just use a digital post-it in a digital wall. But instead of showing you all the different ways that I use Trello, I wanted to show you a specific way that I use it, particularly to organize my to-do list every single day. For those of you who know me, you might know that I like to organize my to-dos into a three main tasks thing for the day. And those three things usually consist of one big deadline that I'm working towards and maybe sometimes like a fitness workout that I want to do for the day and something like a self-care thing, among others. But there are times when I just get really busy and I find that a three main task list just doesn't cut it for me. So I like to pull out my big guns and I do the 135 list. The 135 list, I'm not gonna claim that I created this thing, it's, but it's essentially a method where you organize your tasks for today into one big project, three medium projects, and five smaller projects, or let's just call them tasks. There's no hard and fast rule to what you might consider big, medium, or small, but like generally uh, what I like to do is consider any task that takes about two or more hours as a big task, and then anything that's maybe an hour to a little under two hours as medium tasks, and anything below an hour is a small task. So I'm jumping straight into Trello here, and how I start is I usually plan out my tasks at the beginning of the week, most times on Sundays, but sometimes Monday mornings, especially when I'm lazy. So let's zoom in on this column right here, which I call the task dump. And like the name suggests, I dump all my tasks I have to do in the week as Trello cards. And to create the Trello card, it's really easy as typing out whatever that task is, hitting enter when I'm done, and just keeping everything in this column, in this list to organize for later. I'll also add Trello labels to each card. For me, red means a big task, so again, that's two to three hours of something. Blue means medium, and yellow means small. I generally know how much time something takes me, and if I don't, then I will just guesstimate. It's really not a big deal. And now for the fun part, actually organizing this mess. I take my to-do list one day at a time, so that's why you only see one column each for my tasks per day. But later, I will show you what I usually do if I want to plan out most of the week, if not the entire week, all in one go. So I'll decide on which tasks per category I want to work on for that day, or if I'm planning a day ahead like I normally do, then the next day. So when I know what those are, I'll just drag them from the task dump column down to their designated column. And this is where the labels really help me because I don't have to like think anymore. I just have to drag them to the right column because I already know like where they belong. And sometimes things don't jive with me, so I'll switch things up a bit, do a little experimenting. It's really all just part of the process. Also, as a quick note, I do find myself sometimes not being able to complete the five small tasks and the three medium tasks in a day, so I will have gaps here and there on many days, and that's perfectly fine. And basically, every day I will just focus on these three columns. It helps because I don't have to look at a long master to-do list and then get overwhelmed by everything. And this just gives me more focus and structure while keeping my um, other to-dos handy so I don't have to forget them over the week. Then as a task gets finished, I archive the card and there's just something so satisfying about seeing your to-dos actually disappear instead of getting crossed out. They're just suddenly out of mind and that, that gives me peace. So it's really that simple and I just repeat the process every single day. And now you're probably wondering, how do I plan out the rest of the week, especially if I think that I want to be planning out way ahead instead of just the day before or on the day of. What I do and what works best for me is when I actually group my tasks in my task dump. So this is where the labels can really come in handy. If I know I want to work on a specific big task, like maybe this specific video, 
or a small task like reminding somebody about a call that I have with them or just anything that I want to get done on a specific day that's two or three or even four days away. And I will usually just add a due date to the card, put it into the right column and on the day that I want to focus on these. There are times when I will plan out my tasks this way for the entire week ahead of time. There are times when I don't. It really just depends on how my energy is, how I'm feeling. But I do like the way that it just helps me flow through my tasks. It still gives me structure, it still gives me focus without being too rigid, but still being able to make sure that I am getting things done and I have like a goal in mind for the week. And in case you're wondering, because people always ask me, what if I have more than three medium tasks for the day? What if I have more than five medium tasks for the day? What if I do like 15 small tasks in a day or I do like three big things? Like, am I doing it wrong? Honestly, that's not the question you should be asking yourself. If you're asking yourself, am I doing this method wrong? Then you might be asking the wrong question. Instead, the question that I want you to ask yourself is, is it working for me? So as long as your system, number one, helps you feel less overwhelmed and more focused, and number two, actually helps you get things done to really move the needle, then that's really all you need. I wanted to share this video with you just to show you how I organize my to-do list. Now maybe you can like take it a little bit and then tweak it and find ways that works for you. I often find things like this that works for me. Um, I know the 135 list was actually, I don't know who actually made it, but um, when they do it, they actually do it on like a, an actual to-do list. But what I like to do, I turned it into a Trello board. So that's just an example of taking something that works for somebody else and then tweaking it so that it fits your habits, your life, even better. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and all that good stuff. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!